Jason Chaffetz says he will not run in 2018. And the crowd went crazy. People were clapping, throwing confetti. <laughs> Wasn't actually the response I think he was looking for. There was all dry tears in the house. Well, some of the tears were wet, but that was from laughing. <laughs> Jason Chaffetz is not really on the popularity meter, or he's not scoring high on the popularity meter because, well, you know, he's Jason Chaffetz. <laughs> More than 18 months from the election in the heavily Republican district, there were already possible signs of a challenging race in Mr. Chaffetz's future. A Catherine Allen, a physician and political newcomer running as a Democrat, has already raised nearly $400,000 more than Chaffetz this year. This was reported by the Salt Lake Tribune. See, so Jason Chafe is saying he won't run or he doesn't expect to run in 2018. Um, may be some reasons besides his feet are tired. May have something to do with the champ, with the challenger, who's uh, probably a lot more popular than Jason. You know? <clears throat> you know, Jason Chaffetz was doing really well when he was going after Hillary, you know, Benghazi. He was like the watchdog guy. Arr, arr, Hillary. That worked really well for him with Republicans. But when Donald Trump came into office and he didn't go after Trump with the same vigor, <laughs> I mean, he, he was running after Hillary. Come here, Hillary. Come here, Hillary. When Trump got in, he was like, oh, I'm tired. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I'm not chasing Trump. <laughs> it was like a no-win situation. He was in a catch-22 and a half, man. So that's what's up with Chaffetz now. On Capitol Hill, they say Chaffetz has shown opportunistic streak about often rushing towards television cameras with an eager smile. <laughs> that's right. During the election, he facilitated several times between backing President Trump and not backing President Trump. <laughs> he said he would not be able to look his teenage daughter in the eye if he were to vote for Mr. Trump after revelations arose that Trump said something about grabbing women in the change purse. <laughs> Remember that? So he, you see, this is what, this is what happened to a lot of Republicans. I'll tell you what happened. They're always hedging their bets about what's the best side to be on on any issue. If you think that Hillary Clinton is the only one with a private and a public face, you are wrong. She's just the only one that you read that said she had a private and a public face. You don't think Jason Chaffetz has a private and a public face? And both are made out of plastic. You got to know this stuff, man. So, you know, he's trying to hedge his bets and he didn't think Trump would win. And it was good to, you know, everyone thought that the grab him by the JJ was going to bring Trump down. So a lot of people came out on their high horse. <laughs> I'm up on my high horse. <laughs> Look at you down there. I've never said anything about touching women ever. I'm from Utah. <laughs> but it backfired because he didn't lose. And now it's kind of hard to go back on it, man. You make a statement like, I can't look my daughter in the eye. <laughs> so then he gets elected and uh, he's not looking his daughter in the eye because uh, I don't know. And then Trump, he wants loyalty above all things. He wants loyalty above ethics or anything else, man. Opposition to Mr. Chaffetz has met with his adopted doorstep as well. His tight-fisted control of the District of Columbia's laws, which fall under his committee's purview, has been re rewarded with the D.C.-born anti-Chaffetz Political Action Committee. <laughs> That's right. Chaffetz has created a lot of enemies. Yeah, a lot of enemies. And there's so, much, so many enemies funding his challengers. Oh, they want him gone, man. That, that's it. They want him out. Now, it'll be it'll be interesting to see exactly what Chaffetz does, man. Does will he run for governor? He was talking about doing that. Now he not sure. Uh, he was talking about not running in 2018. He put that out there, but he also left room for him to change his mind. He said, as of right now, and like all good Republicans, he said he has to talk to God about it. What he has to talk to are the poll numbers. <laughs> and his supporters or sponsors, his corporate sponsorships. <laughs> Man.
I don't know, guys. Everyone says they're doing the work of the Lord. <laughs> were you doing the work of the Lord when you were not looking at your daughter when you supported Trump? <laughs> okay. It's only selective conversations you have with... The... Anyway, I think Jason Chaffetz is playing politics. That's what I believe. I'd like to know what you believe. Let me know in the comment section below. Will this guy run in 2018? And will it matter? I'll see you on the next one. And remember, support independent media. Me, I'm sub I'm independent media. And you know why? You know why you should do it? Because in the media, independent media, like your man Tim Black tells it to you straight. And if we disagree, it's not because I got a corporate handler telling me, Tim, you got to say nice things about Chaffetz. Or Tim, you got to say bad things about Chaffetz. Whatever I say, whether you agree or disagree, it's authentic. That should matter. See you on the next one.